All right, welcome to the sixth episode of Dashboard Conservative. My name is Dakota Hart, your host again today. And today we will be talking about democratic socialism, or as it should be called, socialism. The lies and disparities of the facts that the left is trying to give 330 million Americans that democratic socialism will somehow empower you and help you in your life and help the country run better and make it more fair for everyone to live in this society is completely false. Having people pay 90% of your taxes to the government, which you can look at the government programs, the VA, the Postal Service, they're the most poorly run organizations in the world. Right? The Postal Service used to be you would put something in the mail and hopefully five days later it might make it. Then FedEx came along and said, hey, we could do it better at a more competitive price. And it actually made people understand that the private sector could always do things better than the government can. The government is in place in America not to control and to operate organizations better than anybody else can. They're there to enact the laws and they're there to make sure that success can be had by all Americans. They are not there to control or organize anything. But this fa- this idea that paying 90% of your taxes could solve all the issues, could pay for you know free school, free Medicare, get one thing through your head. There's nothing free in this world. You're going to be paying for it. Uh, but there's, their platform says that they will tax the rich, the wealthy, the multinational conglomerates 90%, pay their fair share, because why should anybody be rich in this country? Because America was founded on success, not on meh. If you take somebody, which again, the one percenters, $309,000 household income is the top 1%. That's not exactly the CEO of Walmart. That's the guy that runs the two local coffee shops. That's the local mechanic. That's not these uber wealthy billionaires that fly around on jets and summer on their yacht. Uh, These are hardworking Americans that have earned their income, rightfully so, who employ 10, 20, 50 people, pay them competitive wages, and give them the opportunity to grow within the company. So this idea that paying 90% of your wealth is going to in turn give the government more money to be able to run things and enact organizations and laws that will better benefit you is absolutely false. If you tax me at 90% and I make $300,000 in a year, you are not going to have me as a member of this society much longer. Look at corporations. We used to tax them at 35% and the jobs and the corporations were headed overseas. Why? Because they're private businesses. They can go wherever they want and they're going to go where the tax rates are lower. So if you start saying that all American-based companies have to pay 90% of their income in order to fund Medicare and schools, they're going to leave. And guess what happens when you have... 10 people in a room or one person makes up 90% of the income in the room, if that person leaves, the whole room is greatly affected and a lot less rich. If you have a dollar and 90 cents of it leaves, you got 10 cents left to spread among those other nine people. Whereas in the other scenario, those other nine people may have been able to get a job from that person. They even offer health insurance. Huh, novel idea. Somebody a employs you and gives you the benefits that government is saying, well, we could do it better. Name me one time in the history of America where the government has done something better than the private in- private sector, and I will give you $100 personally. Please comment. Please tell me where it's worked better. Thank you for listening today, and please like and subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you tomorrow.